Hey everyone, it's Unishak here, and I'm going to bring you the first Halo 2 Anniversary Perfection in Free For All. I got to go to a 343 press event up in San Francisco where I got to play a little bit of the Master Chief Collection early. So playing against a bunch of press people, you can probably guess that I was tearing them apart. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. This is one of the first games. It's Lockout Free For All. SMG starts. I have to do what I can to get the power weapons off the start, and then I lock it down and they don't get a single kill on me throughout the match. But you're going to see, I'm going to be, I think I'm preview blue 2, or something like that. And right off the bat, we're going to dive into this gameplay. It's going to be slow off the start, but it gets intense really quick as I get a hang of, get used to the controls and get the hang of how it feels and stuff. Right off the bat, I'm pushing towards top middle. I'm going to try and shoot the, the barrels to blast the sniper rifle to me. End up getting a kill without even knowing it. Find the sniper rifle finally, line up a quick scope, and I hit the guy once, and I'm going to try and pepper him to save that sniper ammo because it's so precious. I end up getting rushed here on the left, as well as a, from a few other angles. I'm just going to sit in this corner now. I've got plenty of nades, so I'm going to chuck them, as well as blow up that barrel, just in case. Now I'm going to make my way to the sword, because if you don't know, the sword is the best power weapon on lockout for close quarter combat. Sniper rifle is probably going to be the other power weapon that you want and now I have them both because if you remember I nated or I blew up the barrels and it launched right towards me that's a very useful trick to launch the sniper towards you th by shooting that center barrel and now I have pushed my way over to the sniper rifle tower which is all close quarter combat for my sword and then I can snipe people across the map as you see me doing right here trying to line up a headshot I didn't have it set up so I didn't want to go for it and then I finally find preview red one take him out see a guy coming down low I'm just gonna whip out the sword and take him out without any difficulties it's a tie game four to four but I'm not too worried because I have two power weapons and complete control of the map. That dude totally just fell off the map. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to say who it was, but it, it was just funny to see that player fall off the map. Find that guy who had a shotgun. It's very good that I took him out. The barrels blew up in the center. That's what I started to aim for right there. I was going to just kill that player by blowing up the barrels next to him and around him. I ended up not having to. <laughs> Another player falling off the map right there from the BR tower. If you notice that, you can tell these guys aren't the best but I get a bunch of nice snipes on them when when it matters because they start kind of like bonding together to get me because at this event everyone was having fun you know just playing the game and then it's like kind of like hey that guy's sitting on the tower let's go combo up on him because he still hasn't died so they kind of started to fight solely against me you know <laughs> and getting that pressure was a little bit scary because I wanted to try and get a perfection I saw the guy coming up behind me on the radar, so I tried to snipe the guy on the lift, missed those two shots because I was still getting the hang of everything, and then uh, I turned around and sorted the guy who was on my radar. Now I've got this guy down low. I tried to push him with my sword. He's trying really hard to get me. This is where you start to notice the people who are decent are going to pull away from the people who aren't decent. <laughs> and this guy is definitely decent trying to come at me very strong and make sure I can't get a perfection against everyone you know it's it's very sad but you do get the haters even at a press event you know but it just is fun I've got a bunch of grenades that's one thing you really want to focus on in Halo 2 and Halo 2 anniversary is how many grenades you have in your pocket you can store up to eight four frags and four plasmas right there I just kept spamming them and spamming them in order to kill the person and make sure I've locked down this tower. I didn't want to go into there and risk getting like stuck or anything. I just threw nades around the corner. That was the only thing I had to worry about. Right there, sword. I didn't have to take a risk and use the dual wielding combo when I could just use the sword and kill the guy instantly. Right there, you notice there is zoom in with this uh, with the SMG. Right now, I saw a fight going on down there. I threw a random plasma down there just because I saw a fight and I did get a kill. It's very smart to keep an eye out on what's going on in the rest of the map the sniper got launched actually don't know if you guys noticed that when I blew up the barrels earlier I accidentally blew the sniper away then a turning quick scope right on that guy I'm trying to check up top now I saw a player moving up there and I don't want to stand in this doorway uh, I need to get somewhere else so I'm moving towards the sniper tower to lock it down once again I have 12 kills so I'm halfway to my perfection 
Just a simple sword on that poor dinosaur. Looking across the map, two nice body shots to get a... Oh, I got a headshot on the second one. Get the sniper spree <laughs> and can maintain control. Right there, running right, and a back of the headshot on the dinosaur. So you start to notice that uh, elites can be shot in the back of the head, and I use that later on in the game. This guy is uh, the guy who's trying to hate on me. He sh he's looking at me constantly across the map. The red Spartan pushing at me, I just quickly sword him, and then the guy was peeking. I got him once again with the sniper rifle. Only eight more. I saw the guy out in the distance. I'm going to blow up the icicle, and sure enough, I get the environmentalist for my 18th kill. Now, remembering that those stalactites are on top of the map, I turned around and looked at mine, and then shot it so no one else could do it back to me. And there, they are on a two minute timer, if I remember correctly from the PAX showdown where I competed against the pros and stuff, it was on a two minute timer there. So unless it's changed, just be expecting those icicles to pop up and respawn. I guess the water comes down and cools and <laughs> freezes <laughs> really quickly in the new version of Blockout. And now I do have 19 kills, so I'm playing it super safe. No reason for me to try and push out and risk anything. That player running around with a dueling needle and plasma rifle. I think this guy had a shotgun. That's the big thing I want to worry about is making sure no one could kill me with that shotgun. Uh, and now that I've got it in my zone, I don't have to worry. I'm going to use up the sniper, uh, sorry, the sword. And as much as I can, use that little bit of ammo I have in there. You see I have two more hits on there. Putting nades down the tube to get that guy who's obviously going to be weak. I thought I had a plasma set up, but I didn't actually have it. I sent the frag out. I'm probably going to go pick up that shotgun to keep it alive soon. Waited, and now boom. Take out the sword guy, or the last guy with the sword. I didn't want to get a uh, sword on the first guy because I wasn't sure if it would count. Nice headshot on that guy across the map. Guy running across the middle, missed the no scope, and then a quick scope for the untouchable perfection as well as my sniping sharpshooter, I believe. So I kind of went off that game, and I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary as well as the gameplay. I know it was a little slow off the start, but towards the end it got a little hectic, and I'll show you the medals right here with my 25 kill perfection in Halo 2 Anniversary Free For All. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys subscribe and look forward to my next Master Chief Collection video, which is coming out tomorrow. So... Keep an eye out for that, and I will see you guys later.